to my channel, Comicat Creations, where I like to post all about sewing, beauty, and makeup. So today I have a very special sewing video because it's the first viewer request video that I've done. An awesome viewer named Puspa asked me if I could make a jumpsuit tutorial, and I figured since it's the middle of summer where I'm at, I'd go ahead and make a summer jumpsuit or a romper. That way you could stay cool and still look cute all summer long. And you could also easily make this with pants if you're in a cooler climate when you're watching this. So I really hope you all enjoy this tutorial, and thank you so much Puspa for requesting the video. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more. Let's get sewing. I needed two yards of a stretchy knit fabric for the romper, and although I had fabric left over, I still needed that two yards total because of the way I had to cut out the pieces so that the stretch of the fabric all went the same way. And you also need half inch thick elastic, enough to wrap around your waist, and quarter inch thick elastic, enough to wrap above your chest. Grab a tank top to create our bodice template, and start by folding the bottom edge up to about where you'll want the gathered waist of your romper to be. Then fold the straps down out of the way to create a rectangle. Finally, fold it in half right down the center and we'll use this as our pattern instead of having to measure and draft. Fold a portion of your fabric over, making sure that the fabric stretches in the direction I have the arrows going. Lay your template onto the fabric so that the center fold of the template lines up with the fabric's fold and pin it into place. To create the flowy gathered bodice, we need to begin by cutting about an inch and a half above the top edge of the tank top, then cut at least two inches wider on the sides to give room for all the gathers, and finally cut about a half inch below the bottom edge of the template. And when you unfold it, you'll have your first bodice piece, so use it as a template to cut a second identical piece. Lay the bodice pieces right sides facing together and pin and sew along the sides. Always backstitch when you sew, and make sure to sew with a ballpoint needle and use either a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch for all the seams. I'm using the straight stretch stitch, which shows one stitch forward, one back, and one forward again, and using a stretch or a zigzag stitch allows you to stretch your seams without breaking them. With your bodice turned inside out, head to the top edge of the bodice to create the casing for a quarter inch elastic. And to do this, fold the raw edge of the fabric over about a half inch once, then fold it over again another half inch inch and pin it into place. Continue double folding the fabric and pinning it into place around the entire top edge until it's all pinned into place. To stitch the casing down, you'll need to sew about an eighth of an inch away from the bottom folded edge here, and I'm just sewing with the same stitch as before, but it's very important that instead of sewing the entire thing closed, that once you get about one and a half inches away from the beginning of your stitches, you need to back stitch and stop sewing, and this will create the opening you need to feed your elastic through later. Grab your quarter inch elastic and wrap it around the top of your chest, stretching it slightly so that it'll be able to keep the romper in place without being uncomfortable, and mark the side you need, then cut about a quarter inch outside the marking and attach a safety pin to one end. Push the pin through the opening of your casing and feed the elastic through it, being careful not to twist the elastic at all. Once you've got it all the way through, lay both ends right on top of each other and sew with a zigzag stitch several times to secure them, then cut off the extra edges and pull on the top to get all the elastic inside the casing. Stitch over the opening to close it up and your bodice portion is done for now, so set it aside. Now grab a pair of your own shorts and lay them turned inside out with the back of the shorts facing upward, then fold them in half. Smooth them out, making sure the crotch seam and all the edges are laying completely flat, and this will be our shorts template. Fold another portion of your fabric over, again with the stretch going in the direction of the arrows, and make sure it's smoothed out and the stripes are even, then lay your shorts onto the fabric so that the outside edge of the shorts leg is lined up with the fold of the fabric. Cut about 5 inches above the top of the shorts waist, and this extra room is for the higher waist and the elastic waist casing. Then begin cutting downward, cutting 2 to 3 inches wider than the waist of your shorts. And when you get near the curved part of the crotch area I'm cutting at now, you'll want to make sure you're cutting at least a half inch wider than your shorts template. And also cut at least a half inch wider along that short straight edge. Finally cut an inch or so lower than the bottom of your shorts, and I do trim mine more later, but it's better to be safe than cut too short of shorts now. You'll now have a piece of fabric that should look just like this, so use it as a template to cut out a second identical piece. Lay the pieces with right sides facing together and pin and sew along the curved crotch areas on both sides. Grab the fabric in the center and rotate the waist so that when you lay it out now it looks more like a pair of shorts. Match up and pin the center crotch seams together, flattening out the seam allowance when you do this, and then pin the rest of the fabric on either side of that center pin and sew it together. 
To create the casing for the half inch elastic waistband, with your shorts inside out, fold the raw edge of the waist over about a half of an inch first, and then fold it again another inch and pin it into place. Continue until the whole waist is pinned, and then stitch it into place just like with the bodice casing, sewing about an eighth of an inch away from the bottom folded edge and leaving the couple inch gap unsewn to insert the elastic. Before we put in the elastic, we need to attach the bodice and shorts, so with the shorts inside out and the bodice right side out, slide the bodice inside the shorts so that the waists of both line up together, and then match up the side seam of the bodice to the side of the shorts and pin them together, and do the same on the opposite side too. Pin the center seam of the shorts to the center of the bodice, and then since my shorts are wider than my bodice, I just stretch the sections of fabric to be the same size, and then pin in smaller increments until the whole waist is pinned, and stretching it out just make sure the different sized fabrics are distributed evenly while you're pinning. Once it's evenly pinned, sew the pieces together using a quarter inch seam allowance, and as you sew, you'll want to stretch out the section of fabric between two pins so the layers are the same size, and sew that section while it's stretched, then remove the pin and stretch and sew the next section, repeating until the waist is joined together. Wrap your half inch elastic around your waist, stretching it slightly so it'll stay comfortably snug in place and make a mark, then trim it about a half inch outside the mark and attach a safety pin to the end. Find the opening you left in the casing earlier and feed the elastic through it, being careful not to twist the elastic, and once it's all through, just lay the two ends on top of each other and sew them into place. And just like before, trim off the extra edges, pull on the waist to get the elastic completely inside the casing, and sew up the opening, and now you have a nice gathered waist on the romper. At this point, I tried the romper on to see that it was longer than I wanted, so I trimmed the shorts so they're a half inch longer now than the final length I want, and then I turned them inside out. To hem them, fold the raw edge over toward the wrong side of the fabric a quarter of an inch once, then fold it again another quarter inch and pin it into place, and continue double folding and pinning around the entire leg. Sew the hem into place and repeat by hemming the opposite leg as well, and your romper could actually be worn just like this, but if you want to add the straps on the front, then cut out two strips of fabric that measure about 24 inches by about 2 inches. With the wrong side of the strap facing up, start on the end and fold one edge into the center, then fold the other edge in to meet it, and then fold them in half so the two folded edges meet, and pin it down so it'll stay. Continue by folding the edges into the center and then folding them in half until you have the entire strip completed like this, and I know it takes a couple minutes, but this will create neatly finished straps. Sew with a straight stitch across the straps along the edge where the two folds meet to secure them. Finish off one edge of each tie by folding the raw edge over once, then again, and then stitch over it a few times to secure it. Lay the romper inside out with the side you want to be the front facing up, and then measure to find the center of that top edge and mark it with a pin. Lay the raw, unfinished edge of one of the straps onto the center, laying it at a slight angle, and then lay the unfinished edge of the other strap on top of it in the opposite direction. Stitch over them several times, and I just sewed right over the elastic, which will help keep it from twisting, and now you're all finished. You can wear the straps tied in a cute bow on the front, or halter style around your neck. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. And if you make this or any of my other projects, don't forget to use the hashtag CommieCatCreations on Instagram so I can see what you're sewing. Alright, I'll see y'all in a video very soon and I hope everybody has a fantastic and safe day. Bye!